For 150 years, the steam locomotive provided the heavy land transport needs of the industrial world. Early industrial railways used horse-drawn wagons, but at the beginning of the 19th century, primitive steam locomotives began hauling loads. As early as 1804, a locomotive designed by Richard Trevithick began work at Pennydarren Ironworks in Wales. But it was not until 1829, when Stevenson's rocket won the Rainhill Trials, that a regular passenger service began running between Liverpool and Manchester. As the Industrial Revolution gathered pace, the design of the steam locomotive was continually refined reaching a peak in the 1930s with machines like the Flying Scotsman that set a rail speed record of more than 160 kilometers per hour. After 40 years of service, one of the Flying Scotsman locomotives, number 60103, was retired, but it had been lovingly preserved and still hauls special steam enthusiasts' trains. By the 1970s, steam locomotives were rare. Pollution and high maintenance costs made steam uncompetitive with diesel and electric locomotives. Around the world, people are still nostalgic for steam technology. In Kenya, the Mount Gilhay, one of the mountain-class locomotives introduced in 1955, has just returned to service. After more than 200 years, steam technology refuses to die.